Your learning target is I can compare and contrast different versions of the same story. Your success criteria is I will know I am successful when I can use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast two things. In the past, we have used a double bubble map to compare two things, two books, two characters, um, just two objects. And when we do that, we put the items we're comparing in the circles. And then we put the similarities in the middle, those things that are the same. And then we put the differences around the outside, those things that are different. And so today we're going to be comparing using a similar graphic organizer, but we're going to be using a Venn diagram. And this is a little bit easier to fill out. And so we're going to use this. And the reason for our lesson today is to make sure you know how to use it. So you can see I have this diagram and it looks like two overlapping circles because that's what it is. And you notice that the blue circle runs all the way here and the red circle runs here. And so this part in the middle where those two circles overlap is what the two objects we're comparing have in common, kind of like the middle of our double bubble map, the circles that went down the middle. Well, that's what this section in here is, where those circles are overlapping. And that's where we put our similarities. Those things are the same. And just like on the double bubble map, our differences go around the outside. So the difference for one object will be on this side and then on this in the red circle and the difference for whatever I'm putting in the blue circle will be on the outside here. And you can see that we don't put the items before in a double bubble map, we put the items in a circle inside of the double bubble map. For a Venn diagram, we list the items on the top. And instead of writing them, I have a picture of the items. And so I'm going to compare this red Mustang to this silver, beautiful silver, blue, I guess it's a silver color, um, GMC truck. And I want you to watch me do it because you're going to build a similar Venn diagram for a dog and a cat. And so here I have um, some things, that, some words that I have written that are similar similarities and differences. And you'll go ahead and just write yours, uh, but I want it to be speedy, and so I have mine written already. So the first place I start when I fill out a Venn diagram is the center, because I think it's easier for me to find similarities. So how is this truck like this Mustang? Well. They both have four wheels, so I'm going to move that over into the similarity column. And then I know that they have windows, so I'm going to move that in the similarity column. And I know that both of these things, a truck and a car, a Mustang, um, are used for transportation. So I haven't listed all the similarities, but you get the idea. So the things that are the same are going to go in the middle where these two circles overlap. Now I need to think, hmm, how is this truck different from this Mustang? I need to contrast these two objects. So I know that this truck is a silver color. So I'm going to put that there. And I know the, the car is not silver, clearly. And I know that the truck has a bed, has a truck bed in the back to carry things and haul things. But the Mustang does not. So now I'm going to think about the Mustang. Well, the Mustang is not silver, it's red. And the Mustang has a trunk, and I don't think this truck has a trunk. And so I have now compared and contrasted this blue or this silver truck with this red Mustang by putting the similarities in the middle and then putting the differences around the outside. Now you might have spotted different similarities and different um, differences, and that's okay. The purpose for this lesson was to show you how to use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast two things. So now you're going to complete your response by comparing and contrasting a dog and a cat.